guys. So today we are doing a full coverage foundation routine. Um, I'm going to try to add in some dupes that you can get at the drugstore because a lot of it is a little bit higher end just because that's what I have on hand right now. Um, it is going through contour, cream contour, powder contour, everything. And it's full coverage. It is for oily skin so if you have dry skin I'm sorry I just wouldn't recommend this. Um, I will maybe post another video for more dry skin, but I'm an oily girl, so that's why I'm doing it. And again, it is full coverage, and I'm doing a little bit of a baking session there too. So hopefully you like it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Hey guys, so I am going to do a hopefully quick um, foundation video. Um, this is my full foundation routine. It's extremely full coverage, so it's definitely not for everyone. Um, and I am going to be doing mainly high-end products, but you can easily switch it out, and I'll try to put in what you could switch it out with as I go to. So now I'm just using Essay Lauder's, um, what is it, Matte Perfecting Primer Base. Um, I really like this base this primer. Um, I don't, I still haven't found a dupe for this particular one, but um, I like it. But I would probably suggest like the hard candy primer that I used to use. I like that one a lot and it's pretty similar for mattifying. So, And then I go in with my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and this is in the color Linen. And I, when I do it, I do quite a few, like, swaps on, like, swipes, I can't talk, on the back of my hand. So I do about at least that much, and I can always go in with more. And it's a wand applicator, so you could dot it on, or you could do it like this. It's really just up to you. And I've been using, my brushes are all dirty, I need to clean them. I've been using... My Bella and Bear um, brush, like the Kabuki brush and the foundation brush to apply it. I like to do the foundation blush, brush to get like a full application and then I'll take the stippling brush and kind of just stipple away and blend it all in really nicely. So let's do that. So as you can see, the coverage with this is really good, and I just would like more. So I'm going to go through and apply more, which most people don't, but I do. And a good dupe for this, um, the coverage isn't exactly the same, and like the drying isn't exactly the same, but it's a good drugstore dupe for it, is the Glamouflage from Hard Candy. Um, I know it's a little bit harder to buy because it is only in Walmart, but it is a good drugstore dupe for it. I feel like it does give me a lot of good coverage. When it comes to covering up acne, I would suggest putting your foundation on the spot and then just kind of tapping at the area to blend it. It will give you more full coverage and it will make it easier to hide the blemish. I don't always suggest this because your fingers carry a lot more bacteria than your brushes normally do, but at the same time, if you gotta get it covered up, you gotta get it covered up. Alright, so moving on, I'm gonna take the Clinique Airbrush Concealer in Zero Fair. Um, a good dupe for this would be like Maybelline Fit Me. Um, and I'm just going to apply it under my eye area just to give me a little bit of coverage, like a um, highlight and a little extra coverage for my eyes. 
Honestly, I could go lighter with this color, but you got to use what you got to use, right? Okay, so I just did down the bridge of my nose, under my eyes, Cupid's bow, and chin, and I'm going to blend it in with my finger. This is something new that I haven't done before. Um, I just started doing this recently. I take my Clinique. This is a Redness Solutions setting powder. Um, it's like a yellow powder. Hold on, let me put some in the lid for you. So it's a yellow setting powder. Um, just like a loose powder. I believe that e.l.f. has one and NYX has one. I got requests to try baking and then I saw this and I was like, oh, I'll grab this. This is actually, um, we don't sell this at Clinique anymore, so I will at some point try the e.l.f. and the NYX ones, but I know there's a few videos trying both of them for setting powders for like the yellow colors, so yeah. <laughs> so then I just apply it under my eyes and I just press it in. I did this trick like, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice apparently, I did this trick like two times in Mexico and it really helps my makeup stay on really long. And I'm using the Morphe um, 11 brush. And I forgot to tell you earlier, but a good substitute for the um, Bella and Bear um, stippling brush is the Morphe B, what is it, B11? B6. The Morphe B6 brush, that's a really good stippling brush too. And I don't know exactly how much their price point is different. I'm going to try to put that down below. I'm terrible at filling out a description bar because I just want to get my video up finally. But, I'm going to try to work on that more. So I normally let this sit for a decent amount of time. I'm, I'll am i normally do like my eyeshadow while I'm letting it sit and then I'll go through and I'll dust off which I will show you. And normally I do go in if I'm wanting to do this extra step. I'll go in with my Smashbox um, step by step contour stick. Actually I truly do like these sticks. Um, and I'll contour around the areas that I highlighted and then I'll blend them in. Maybe. Sometimes I wait to blend them in until I'm getting rid of all the fluff, but I'll show you how I contour with the cream. And again, whoa, I can't talk. And again, with the, like, these sticks, you could easily just get a darker color from, like, Maybelline Fit Me and use that as your cream contour. Like, you don't have to use this. This is just what I have in stock. So I go down my nose like you can see and I'll do a little bit of swipes on the side. I do under my lip just to kind of give myself a little bit more of a full bottom lip. And then I'll do my cheeks, my forehead, and I don't need a lot, just a little bit of swipes. And that's pretty much it. The thing with cream contour is um, once you start blending it in and then you put powder on top of it, uh, it starts to go away a lot. So um, I normally cream contour and then I'll show you my next step. But um, 
cream contour is a good natural looking contour. It definitely doesn't give you that like well, bam contour that some people want. Just a heads up and some advice. And now I'm going to blend it in real quick. Okay, it is blended in and I know it looks scary, but I'm going to do my eyes real quick and then I'll come right back. So now that I have my eyes almost done, um, I normally wait to do my mascara after. I'm just going to go through and lightly swipe away all of the excess. Actually, I'm going to use a different brush. I don't like to use that brush for it just because I feel like if there's any excess powder left on it, it just transfers, so... my loose product should be dusted off now and now I'm going to go in with my um, Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting face powder and this is a full coverage powder again so you don't need to do all of these steps like if you want to do like some of this you can but it's not mandatory and so I just go through and I apply my powder but I always pat it instead of like rub it on because it'll just take all of your foundation away And I'm using a big fluffy brush from my Bella and Bear um, brush set. You could use a Kabuki brush, which I end up going in with again, just to get another decent amount of coverage. And with my trusty Kabuki. I love this thing. It just gives me such good coverage where I want it. So, honestly, like this, if you added like a good powder, like you know, like if you added maybe a little bit more powder and a good blush, you could be fine. But I always do that. I always talk and then I move away. But I go for the extra mile lately, and um, make a um powder that is a few shades lighter than me and I will just apply it in my highlight area and then I will take another powder that is just a few shades darker and then I will apply it in my darker spots. So I normally mix like that color or this one. They're both pretty similar. Um, and again, I know that this powder trick is not available for most people, but again, if you wanted to, you can buy like Stay Matte not stay matte. You could buy like a, um, uh, what is it? The Fit Me Matte powders. You could buy like two, one lighter, one darker, and you can use that if you already have a powder to match your face. So, I mean, it really, this is optional again. So, I'm just doing my lighter color under my eyes. And again, I'm just patting. And this is another way that you could contour if you wanted to skip the other steps I did. You could just do powder like this and it would be a lot natural contour and it would still look pretty. It won't be as like, well, bam, but it would still be like a nice different type of contour. And I feel like this would probably be a really good contour tip too for girls who are like more light skinned, like super fair skinned girls. Because... 
sometimes those contour colors are way too harsh for light skinned girls like super fair so if you do like just a shade a little bit darker than you which is easy to find that just doesn't have any orange undertones there you go and if you're using like a matte powder then it will help a lot with staying matte throughout the day again you do not have to do that I like it though I like doing my cream contour underneath though so that way it still is a little bit more visible. Oh and I'm using another Bell and Bear brush. This is the brush. I love this brush for contouring. It's it's like a huge eyeshadow, eyeshadow brush for the face and I love it. I haven't seen a lot of people do this. I always see them using like a contour color or using like a contour palette. But this works just as fine. And I feel like sometimes it might be easier to find a good color for you to contour with. If you're using like a shade a little bit darker than your shade. Because that's something easy to find. You could even use like your summer shade versus your winter shade and then that works fine. Sometimes you have extra powder at home that's a little bit darker. I don't know. I think it's just a little bit more easy. And so now I'm going to go through and just blend it all in. Um, probably lightly dab in my, my brush into my um, powder that's my face color. But I'm just going to really blend it everything together really well. Okay, so I'm going to do my mascara, and I'm going to touch up my eyeliner a little bit, and um, I'm going to finish up the rest of my face, and then we're almost done. So normally after I do my whole face, like I already have done, I will go through and I'll kind of see if I need to add anything else, and normally I say, like I decide that I need to add a little bit of a shimmering highlight, so I have a little bit on this cheek. This is just like a pink, this is called Pink Crystal Highlight from, what is the brand? Vintage by Jessica Leap, Leap Skinned. I don't know. It's one I got from my Ipsy. You could use anything. You could use Tiki from um, Hard Candy. You could use an eyeshadow. It really doesn't matter. I like this pink one because it's going to give me a glow and it's also going to give me like another color. instead of having to do like a blush because I just haven't been feeling blushes lately which is fine and there you have it with my watering eyes my eyes are have just been crying so hard lately apparently alright guys so there is today's makeup look I hoped you liked it um, if you have any questions ask me down below and again this is not a simple makeup look this is definitely full coverage it's long lasting it's for oily skin but it really works so if you're looking for something lightweight this isn't it but I love it I've been getting compliments on it so I figured I would post a video I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, again, comment down below. If you want to see this eye look or anything else, please let me know down below and I'll ask, answer your questions. I can't talk. But yeah, have a great night, day, wherever you are. Thanks so much.